everyone. Once again, thank you very much for clicking on my video today. Excuse me while I get my chair again. My name is Christine and welcome to the Budget Box. How is everybody doing? Today is a very exciting day for me. Very exciting day for me. So this one with this saying that I live by, believe you can and you're halfway there, is my Etsy binder. Today, we are stuffing my Etsy binder. I am very excited about this. I never in a million years did I think that this was going to happen. So, very excited. Can you tell? So anyway, all right. First of all, thank you, thank you, thank you to all of my new subscribers. I know I am getting more on as we go. We've topped over 300 already. Never in my wildest dreams did I think that 300 people would want to tune in to watch me put money in an envelope, but they do. And we're getting there more and more and more. So by the end of the year, my money goal, get monetized on YouTube and continue to help people save money and to realize where they're at in their budgeting journey, help them get started. Because I'm telling you right now, it is the best decision I ever made in my life. Um, I found the Budget Mom almost three years ago, and since then, I, I can't even begin to tell you. Um, she, the Budget Mom, has earned her wings in heaven because she has helped so many people get on the right track. And just the stress alone of not having to worry about where money's going to come from or uh, or bills not being paid on time or worrying about my credit score or how much money is in my checking account. I don't do that anymore. And there are some days when I have to kick myself when I'm like, I don't have to worry about that because you know why? I got money sitting in an envelope for that. It is freaking amazing. I love it. So anyway, um, first thing that we do, as always in my videos, we have to get our housekeeping out of the way. So, let me grab my things. For anybody who is viewing this video right now, and I've kind of piqued your interest with how things are, are going in the video. Um, if you could do this, that would be amazing. Okay? And if you like... Um, what you're seeing in the video and the information I'm giving out, um, then giving it this would be even better. And let's put some whipped cream on the cupcake and click this. So anytime I put up a video, you get that ding, 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 ding. And you know that there's another video that you need to click on and watch. And then if you're in a really, really generous mood and you're thinking that there's somebody else that's struggling with money, do this and help them out. You know, pay it forward. Do what you need to do. Okay? Okay. Housekeeping out of the way. So I've got my money set up over here. Didn't even count it. Um, one, two, three, four. Um, four fifty. 70, 90, so I think there's like $600 here, give and take. Yay! Okay. First one. Okay, I got my cheat sheet over here because I had to do a cheat sheet because I'm not used to doing this one. Not used to doing this binder. I'm so excited. Okay, so first and foremost, taxes. Man, does that take the wind out of your sail and pop your balloon. So... For taxes, I do 25%. My accountant said that he thought that that would be plenty um, to be able to cover any tax amount that I have to give in. So today, um, so today is 119, and if you'll notice in some of my other videos, I have the same date. I'm doing a marathon filming today, <laughs> just because I'm off work and it's quiet. And that I am going to be at work for the next seven days straight. And when I come home, I'm tired, probably not going to be able to film. So I'll put these up as I need them. But that's why you're seeing the same 119 um, coming or uh, going on my trackers. So 
These are, this is um, taxes. I don't know what to write in here. Deposit maybe? Okay, so we're going to put in 235 of my hard-earned money into taxes. Blech. That's what I think about that. I don't even want to count it. So, 200. 30. Five, 235 going into the tax envelope but you know what I'd rather do it this way than owe the tax man because that's not good okay taxes are done finito subscriptions I do have quite a bit of subscriptions I have a subscription to Cricut I've got one to Canva I've got my prime I've got everything so we're going to start off my subscription envelope with $50. Um, I'm just going to write deposit. I have to look at my credit card statement and find out when these all come out. So this right now, I just took money out of the bank and I'm just doing a, um, just a, a base amount. And then once, once I start to see what days they come out, I'll be able to kind of wrap this up in a nice little neat bow on it. Okay, subscriptions will get 50. I think that'll be good to get me over to. So I opted, when you do Etsy, you can you can get paid either weekly, bi-weekly, once a month. There's various times when you can when you can get paid. I, I guess for those people that need that money to buy more supplies or whatever. Anyway, I have a designated credit card that I make my Etsy purchases on. So I opted just to make it easier on myself to get paid once a month. So the next time I get an Etsy paycheck, I think they said was on February 6th. So I don't know if it's going to be on the 6th of every month might be, may not be, so I just got to, this is the first time I'm kind of pulling money out and and um, and putting money into my binder. So we'll kind of smooth it out a little bit more and I'll be able to get my videos a little bit more um, fluid um, as time goes on. So supplies and, uh, which is my wallet, my binders, my budget rolls, my anything that is I kind of use for my savings challenges and um, and stuff like that. So I am going to start this off with two hundred and fifty dollars. I've already made my credit card payment, although I still do have some of um, some on that credit card that I do need to um, that I do need to pay off. Um, obviously, you need money to start an Etsy shop. Unless you're doing digital download only, then obviously you don't need any money to start. But I chose to do physical, um, you know, physical savings challenges, you know, physical binders and, and stuff like that. So that takes money, it takes money to have product to be able to send out. So, um, so I do have some more on that credit card I do need to pay off. But my view on that is if I can continue to stuff this, so for the future, for my future purchases, I can pull from here. And then if I have money left over, which I'm sure that I will, after pulling from here, I can use that to pay my credit card back. So yeah, it's a process. It is absolutely a process. So I'll put 250 in here right now. Okay. Okay. What do we got next? We got miscellaneous, just miscellaneous, miscellaneous. Something that I don't have an envelope for. Um, and I think I'm throwing 25 into this one. 25. Okay. Let me move this up. Move this up. So we'll do 25 on this. I mean, I, I, I've already come to the realization that I doubt very highly that I would able, I would, I would be able to make enough money off of Etsy to be able to quit my job. I, I have no dreams of quitting my job to do this full time. The real reason why I started this Etsy shop was to, yes, 
help people with savings challenges and, and stuff like that. But um, like I've said in my previous videos, my husband and I are going to be doing a massive amount of remodeling to my house. So I know that I am going to have, because we're, we're, I mean, he's going to, he's going to contribute some, I'm going to contribute some, but I know that I'm going to have a fairly large loan payment that's going to be coming up. I mean, we're talking remodel the kitchen, new windows, new siding, new roof, new gutters, everything. She's 115 years old. She needs a little bit of TLC. And I've been waiting 18 years for a new kitchen. Okay. I have metal cabinets in my kitchen. Okay. They slam every single time I close a cabinet door. So I know that, um, that's why I started it in November. We're going to have the work done hopefully this summer or this fall. This is going to be my home remodeling payment. And this is one of the reasons why I started it when I did. Um, yes, I, I mean, I, I, I love the idea. I love doing this. I love, and, and I'm hoping that if it continues, this is something I can do into retirement and, and add on to, um, add on to my shop for Christmas. My husband bought me one of those cricket presses that you can do shirts with. I'm like, how freaking cool is that? So, um, I wanted to be able to do something into retirement, you know, in 10 years or whatever it is. So it, this is a great stepstone for me, but do I think that this will be able to supplement my, 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 um, my income right now? N no. And, and my husband asked me that and I'm like, mm, no, honey, I'm not going to quit my job to do this, to do this full time. No, probably not. Anyway. Okay. Packaging is going to get 25. I mean, and some people do. I mean, I've seen some YouTubers who are making bank. You know, they've got 50, 60, 70,000 subscribers. I mean, those people make make bank money. Um, and they can do that full time. Um, I I think I started too late in life um, to be able to, to do this. And I'm in a good place right now financially. And I don't think I'm willing to take that jump um, to quit my job to see if I can make enough money to to supplement my regular bills. So anyway, okay. I did make a separate envelope for vinyl only because vinyl is one of obviously my, my main products that I use. Um, and I wanted to be able to keep track of how much vinyl I'm using. That's why I didn't lump this into supplies. You know, vinyl is not as expensive as I thought, as, as I thought it was going to be. Um, so I've been able to source a couple of decent vinyl places that, you know, I, I, I'm not paying an arm and a leg for. Let's see. Let's do purple. Okay. So shipping. Now, um, if the money that's in this, in this particular shipping envelope is for when I do, how much am I doing? 20. When I do my um, free zipper envelopes, um, I pay for that shipping. That shipping does not come out of any other fund or anything like that. So um, that's what this shipping is about. It's not shipping people's orders because that comes out of my Etsy account. This is actually shipping uh, when I do my five free envelopes. So an equipment, I'm going to throw 25 in right now. There's really no equipment that I need. I just bought a brand new... Um, uh, laminator, my other one um, cracked out on me. So there's really nothing that I'm thinking I'm going to need. I know that I will in the future, uh, but I think right now I'm I'm pretty decent. I've 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 got all the equipment that I need, but um, we'll see how that goes. So why am I always left over with money? I got twenty bucks left over. Why is it in my life? stuffing I had 35 dollars left over either that or I was blabbering too much and I didn't. so 10 25 okay let me just take a quick look because I thought I had this right on the money okay just be patient with me let me go back and oh because I didn't put anything in my shipping envelope you probably were all like screaming at the phone at the uh <laughs> at the video right now going hey there's nothing in that shipping envelope <laughs> oh my god Anyway, 
Okay, then that means I came up the way that I was supposed to. So anyway, look, oh, that is such a relief to do that. Such a relief. And for those of you that are watching right now that have purchased items from my Etsy shop, thank you. I know everybody says that. Um, I, I am, uh, I'll take a, a saying from the playbook of Budget with Cat. I am extremely grateful um, for being able to give him the opportunity. Not going to lie, doing an Etsy shop is work, especially getting it set up. And, um, but it looks like it's, it's starting to take off. So anyway, guys, I want to keep you much longer. Thank you very much for, for tuning in today. Um, and we will see you guys again pretty soon. Stay safe and we'll talk to you later. Bye.